Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure video, I will be showcasing a full boosted team for the new event Versus Asaki, the event Armor Division. I also showcased a team with double jack for EXP gain, but that team is not full of boosters, this one is, and is also not using new batches, meaning from Vitwalden and Kinemon Denjiro afterwards. So if you do not have all of the new units because you were unlucky or you did not pull in the Sugo Fests, this is definitely the team for you. So without further ado, let's get to the guide and let's pitch Sasaki. We are using V3 Zoro as captain with the friend captain Frankie and Chopper, the new dual unit or V2 Frankie you can say, and you need to start this quest or enter it as the Dex version of the dual unit, so technically the Chopper version. This is extremely important for you to succeed in this run. Then in stage number 1 you can stall a bit if you like, but you need to swap to Frankie and then you can move on whenever your specials allow it. All of the units are boosted of course, so you don't really need to stall that much. As you can see, in stage 2 we clear it as soon as possible and we proceed to stage number 3. Some other things you must have in order to have a successful run. You need maximum despair and bind sockets. V3 Law and Orochi need to be in the bottom row. Halloween Mihawk support is mandatory at maximum level on Zoro. You need to activate Sasaki in stage number 3 to remove despair and get a damage reduction shield, which is extremely important, especially for the final stage. Then you want to activate Zoro's super type ability to get a 2x color affinity boost for your dex units. And then you want to swap to the dex version of Frankie, so you can have a guaranteed matching slot. But you also want to do that after the Zoro activation, so you don't get a lower color affinity boost. In stage number 4, you will either get Queen or King. Chopper, in both variations, will remove the burn, and then after the debuffs apply, you want first to activate V3 Law. He needs to be in the bottom row to evade bind, and when you activate him, you will get an ore boost, chain boundaries, and also matching slots. Then you want to activate Orochi to remove bind or reduce despair, and if you have the despair variation against King, you also activate the Oni Wabansu special to completely remove it. Also do not forget to swap to the Sai version of your friend captain, and then end your chain on Sasaki, the Q unit who has color advantage and will easily beat the enemy. The final stage is of course the most important one, and it would be beneficial for you to have max auto heal sockets, I do not and my team survived, so you can easily do so as well, and maximum damage reduction sockets will help too. Frankie will remove attack down, and you want turn 1 to swap your dual unit, one swap before the super swap, and attack with one of your bottom row units, preferably low. Sasaki will then attack you, you will barely survive, but you will do so, and then your bottom row units will get confused. Now it's time to win. Super swap your friend captain, and then activate Frankie's special. You will get an attack boost, an ore boost, and a color affinity boost for your captains. Guaranteed matching slots as well. Then you want to activate Zoro, not really for his special, but for him to do damage and activate support Halloween Mihawk, so he at maximum level can remove the damage reduction shield completely. Then attack with your middle row units, Zoro ending on Frankie to do a lot of damage and beat Sasaki with only 4 attacks. And that was my team, full of boosters and also without using any units from newest batches. As always, if you have any questions, tell me in the comments below and I will try to help. If you enjoyed this video and it helped out, I would really appreciate a like, it helps out the channel, and also subscribe for more OPTC content. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.